Fisheries Bogarit, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Ransom Riggs grew up in the Florida but now makes his home in the land of peculiar children. Los Angeles, along the way, he earned degrees from Kenya College, the University of Southern California School of the City by Television. His first on the New York Times bestseller list, he recently sat down with a quick book's creative director, Peculiar, to discuss the peculiar origins. And now, let's move on to the summary of this story. When Jacob Sportsman is young, he idolizes his grandfather Eve, a man who was raised in an orphanage fought in the war, and even performed in the circus. Grandpa Abe tell Jacob's fantastic stories and show him photos of peculiar children, invisible boys, strong girls, and people with mud in the back of their heads. Jacob believes these tall tales until he gets old enough not to just as a kid stop believing in a Santa Claus and tea a string bunny. Jacob stopped believing in grandpa's childhood. When Jacob is 15, his grandfather starts ranting about monster coming to get him. Jacob and his father cries of demanding big mistake when Jacob goes to check on his grandfather. When Jacob finds him dead and he comes face to face, well, face to Santa Claus. With the monsters that killed him, Jacob's grandfather dies in Jacob's arms. But now, before uttering the most cryptic last word seen, Rosebud. No one believes that the monster killed Grandpa Jacob and started having nightmares and slipped into a deep depression. His psychiatrist, Dr. Colin, suggests is go to the island where grandpa was raised and maybe find the explanation behind his mysterious dying words. Jacobs and his dad fly to Cairnhorn Island in Wales and Jacobs find, them, find Miss Peregrine's home way to past past the island bugs. Snapping around the decaying state, Jacob finds a car of old bottles like the ones grandpa had maybe the tales were were true jacobs realized that they definitely true when he gets caught snooping a girl who can generate fire with her bare hands his girl and his friends run when they see jacobs but he chases them they turn back to evan blue First starter and Miller Nillings, an invisible boy, they lead Jacob on a chase through a chain, which turned out to be a portal who into the past which takes Jacob to September 1940, the day before Miss Peregrine's home was destroyed by Bob. Drop during World War II, the house is destroyed and it's full of peculiar children. Grandpa Abe was raised here, but Miss Peregrine tells Jacob he left to fight the hollow ghost, the evil monster that hunts the peculars, at the same time of monsters who killed Grandpa Abe. To stay safe from the hollow ghost, Miss Peregrine creates the time loop. They repeat the same day every day, and the bomb was full, and the house never explodes. As Jacob starts to fall in love with Emma, his grandfather's ex-girlfriend, who still looks 16, thinks to the time loop. He learns that they are groups of bad peculiar trying to gain immortality. When their big experiment failed, they come the hollow gas with a hell full of mist. Monster, who took human the hollow gas, room around the heat peculars. Only Jacob can see them. The hollow gas launch a plot to kidnap Miss Peregrine's and the others' young brains. Sheep? 
shifting woman who can control time. To try time the immortality try again, Chico's psychiatrist, Dr. Golan, turns but ought to be a wait. And Jacobs leads him right to Miss Peregrine's Golan. Bird has Peregrine's her mentor, Miss Abigail, and carries them out to sea. Jacobs and his new peculiar children give chase, kill Golan and the hollow gas to rescue Miss Peregrine's. Miss Abigail is taken away and Miss Peregrine is stuck in the bird form because she can change back the time loop collapse the bomb funds falls and the home destroyed even though he knows he can never turn to the real world if his least jacob decides to stay at the past and accompany emma to find his miss Alcel and change miss peregrine's back to norma he says Goodbye to his father return to nineteen forty and paddles away at a boat to destination unknown. TN I thought the book was pretty good and very eventful. It picked up pretty which was race was nice so you weren't just dragging to the book. The book itself I would read of eight out out to 10 for this book because I didn't like twist ending but I enjoy the rest of the book. The picture really did help your visualization of the distraction the author was trying to get across. This book was definitely different from the most of the other books I have read. It was very strange to say the least. My prediction for it was straight and because it was force showed that it was going to the island in all. I think I would recommend I would recommend this book to someone who likes fantasy and picture. But one of them hit a twist at the end in just case they don't enjoy them. And thank you for watching.